All right, let me show you guys where we're at today. So we're here in Las Vegas, north, south, west, and east. We're actually in Henderson today. We're at Del Webb at Lake Las Vegas, 55 plus. You got the lake right here. We're going to be taking a look at one of their quick move-ins. Pretty large development over here. They got about four different collections of homes, all different sizes, all single stories. Let's go take a look. Good morning. I'm David Carroll, your Las Vegas realtor with Signature Real Estate Group. And welcome to Del Webb at Lake Las Vegas. Have a look around. Beautiful morning, 65 degrees, two mile an hour winds. We're about 1,527 feet above sea level out here. Now Del Webb is a beautiful community of all single story homes, four collections to choose from. Up here on the hill, they got some really nice views. I think they just finished selling up here, but overlooking the park, now around Sun Glaze, you can also have some amazing gorge views of the mountains. It is beautiful out here. 53 on the air quality today. And we're gonna be taking a look at one of their quick move-ins. This is the Canyon model. It's a two bedroom, two bath, 1,285 square feet with a two car garage. It's probably got about 50,000 in upgrades in it, but they just recently reduced the price. Currently, it's $494,990. They are taking offers out here. And let's take a closer look. I do really appreciate all the paper stones. I grew up with concrete in the driveway, but the paper stones are beautiful. Got the seven foot, four panel garage door. Here on the side, we have our electrical, gas, water, communications. These homes do come with the Tayx pest control as well. Very cool. Now, one of my last videos, someone had a question about the gates, if they can add wall or add gates. Now, with the HOA, they will let you put up view fencing, but really can't put up a higher block wall. So if you don't have any fencing around your house, you can do the view fencing. Pets are no problem. As long as they're behind the gate, right? Not running through the neighborhood. Pretty cool. I would probably put some mesh here just to make it a little more private. But I like how you can just walk straight over to the park. One high efficiency AC on the side. Looks like we have a stub out for barbecue, hose bib. And here's our backyard. Looks about 11, 12 foot setback. And then you have your covered patio with the concrete, eight foot slide, three LEDs, or two LEDs and one pre-wire. This would have been an option from the builder to add this wall, and it does so much because it really just makes it so much more private to your neighbor. I can appreciate that. So two bedroom, two bath, 1,285 square feet. Let's go take a look. I'm excited to see what they put inside. On the exterior, they are using all spray-on stucco. Multiple elevation choices with stone out here. It's very gorgeous in Lake Las Vegas. Now here's our entryway, eight foot blue door. Let's head inside. And welcome to the canyon, quick moving here at Del Webb, Lake Las Vegas. Let's go ahead and spin it around. Here's your entryway. So it looks like right off the entry, we have access to the garage. I wanna show you this here on the floor. A lot of people ask about the water softeners. I get this in the mail too. Like I feel like everyone, once you move in, you're gonna get tons of junk, junk mail. I spent about 2000 on my system. They're saying about 995 on that one. I do like having a water softener. Now here's your kitchen, your living room, dining room. Coming in, the gathering room is about 14, seven by 13, 11. They have added four LEDs, one fan and light pre-wire. I've always liked these homes, you know? They have this like a straight shot. When you get them all furnished, they feel really nice. They're compact, but cozy. They have done a nice tile upgrade on this home as well. 
These are the 18 by 36 tiles, straight lathe setup. Very large, gives it a nice good feel. I kind of like the large ones. On the wall, they have the one in one Smurf tubing to hang your TV. It does look like the Santa Fe texture on the wall. And I want to say it's a gray, maybe agreeable gray on the color. What a great spot here for maybe a dining table with that window. Now in the kitchen they've put a four pack of LEDs, two pendant pre-wires. You also have two here in the hall so it kind of completes it to a six. Upgraded quartz on the edge, one inch. Love the veining. It does so good when you're cleaning it. Sometimes the veining doesn't make it look as dirty. No sink in the island, beautiful stain on the cabinet. Modern black pools. We are stapled on, screwed on side glides. For cabinetry, we are looking at the shaker cabinets. The brown stain is very warm. On this side, more 42 inch cabinets, traditional crown molding, black hardware. I do like how they add the six inch backsplash on this one. It just looks thicker, more luxury. Got the Amerisync stainless undermount, Moen chrome hardware. For appliances, they are using all Whirlpool products. So you have the washer. For appliances, they are using all Whirlpool products. So you have the range, the microwave, the dishwasher, all a few uh, levels up above standard. And just remember, they are taking offers on these homes. They have reduced the price, but I tell you what, they are selling a lot of homes out here at Del Webb. Got the five burner, no griddle. Your microwave, and is she venting out? Very good. No backsplash added on these. Refrigerator's not included. I do like the cabinetry above, but I'm thinking to myself, where are those cookies at? And here it is. Here is our pantry, two panel, eight foot doors on the interior. And the cookie storage. I like that extra storage up top. You really need storage, and that's why these new homes they add so much storage space. Does look like a nickel finish on the levers. Beautiful casing around the door, very traditional. It looks like about almost like a three inch on the base. So there she is, your living room, dining room, kitchen. We got the primary suite in the rear, secondaries in the center. I love all the natural light. I'm gonna unlock this slider. This is uh, eight foot tall. I do like the concrete. Just, you know, it's nice to have pavers in the driveway, but the concrete is actually a little bit less expensive. I just had a backyard priced out and it was probably, I think he said 1200 square feet and he wanted about eight or 9,000 for all pavers. All right, now here is the primary suite, the owner's suite. 14, four by 15, five. Four LEDs, one fan and light pre-wire. Does have four switches, so you'll have one for the fan, one for the light on the pre-wire. Then you also have your half hot switch and your extra LEDs. One and one plus Smurf tubing to hang your TV. Every time I've hung a TV, I've always had wires hanging down. <laughs> How about you? Large primary. Feels great. So yeah, all these homes, they do have view fencing in the backyard. It's kind of that whole allure, though. The way they set up the 55 plus here is they kind of want it all to be like a community vibe, community feel. I gotta double check, but I, I believe the HOA is around 350 per month for the two HOAs. I'll put it in the bottom, in the notes below.
in the description. Look at that quartz. It is like a semi-gloss. It is glossy, but it almost looks matte here. So beautiful. Moen hardware and chrome. Love the undermounts. And look at that shower upgrade. Tiled up. They've been doing these curbless out here in Lake Las Vegas, but recently they kind of drop them in. So they do drop in a little bit. They were having a problem with the water coming out. So clean though in the bench. What I've learned about the bench is it's a great place for soap and shampoo. Maybe not towels, but it gets wet in there. Beautiful tiles. They kind of have a little ripple in them. So it kind of gives it a little bit of a rustic look. Tell you what, that shower will definitely do the trick. Got beautiful window here, letting in some light, very modern. And the closet. Two LEDs. Does look like one of their standard carpets, and the pad feels about the uh, medium pad. Not too squishy. All right, and all the doors are the uh, eight foot two panel doors. So that's the suite, and she is sweet. Very cozy, I like it, it definitely works. The island's pretty large in here as well. Ample cabinetry. Now here's the hallway to the secondary. Your washroom, washer dryer not included. They do have it pre-plumbed for the sink down here. Got your dryer box for your vent. We are cooking with gas on the dryer. Two LEDs, attic access up there. And door number two, we've got more storage. Here's your coat closet. And door number three, linen for days because new homes. And then here's bedroom number two. No extra LEDs, but it does have the fan and light pre-wire. So ready to go. This bedroom is about 12, three by 11, six. Transfer grills above the door. Love that for airflow. They won't slam too hard when the air is on. So yeah, if you wanted to put like a uh, view fencing here, you could definitely do that and up to the front. You gotta go through the HOA, but then you can let your pets run around outside. And here is the bath. Secondary bath. Does have the tub and shower combo, all fiberglass, chrome hardware. That seat will definitely hold everything for you in the upgraded showers. Nice quartz again, and this window. I love the windows in the bathroom, absolutely. One thing you need to do though is get blinds. I mean, I love the idea of having that wind, the natural light when you're taking a shower, but then when you gotta get dressed, it's nice to shut that window. So there she is, two bedrooms. This is the Canyon model, Del Webb, Lake Las Vegas. Feels pretty good inside, smells great, nice and cool. Before we go, let's take a look at the garage. Kind of a side entry. Wow, nice and wide, deep. Approximately 20 by 22. Looks like about nine foot ceilings in here. All concrete floor with the control joints. These are all post-tension slabs as well, so be careful drilling. Got the Renai tankless hot water heater, RO loop, soft water system will go there. You have your rain bird on the side for front irrigation and rear. Looks like we have a receptacle pot, some wiring under there for car charging. And on this side, we have our shutoffs. Whole house and irrigation shutoffs with the pressure regulator valve and your fire sprinklers. 
What do you think? So what do you guys think? That's the Canyon model quick move in Del Webb at Lake Las Vegas. If you'd like any more information, give me a call anytime. And if you like the video, hit like, hit subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.